Hey everyone, welcome back to Firewatch and thank you for continuing to follow my playthrough. So last episode we found a dead body and, well, Delilah and Henry are talking about it being the young 12 year old boy. Uh, I'm not totally convinced how they know that, but whatever. Uh, in this episode we're supposed to be uh, following this signal and we're packing up to get out of here. Because you can see the fire is raging in this place and... It's not great, but we just need to follow this signal, and I don't exactly know where they want me to go with it. I wonder... It sounds like it's... I've got to try and find where it's beeping louder and quicker. It's definitely this way. Alright, sorry about that. I had to be a little bit quiet while I try to figure out where it wants me to go. Not that way. This way. I think. Isn't this rather dangerous being out here running around while there's a huge wildfire? Yeah. Pretty sure I'm going the right way. Hang on. Am I going the right way? I think so. It's hard to follow this thing. Yeah, pretty sure. This way, it's changing in pace and intensity. Not that way. Ooh. It's getting louder. Where are you leading me to, beeping? Come on, reveal to me what's going on. I'm going the wrong way. Yeah, it's quickening. Must be this way. Sorry, it's so quiet, guys. What's your status? I think I'm getting close. All right, well, I just got word that they are coming to get us. My place. You sound worried. No, it's, it's just... Brian? I'll coordinate with the evac team and let you know when to head towards the tram. It's north. Far. Past where you found that cut back in May. There's an emergency tram out there that will let you hike to the rendezvous point in my lookout. Cool. But first of all, do we do that or do we find this signal? I think we find a signal. Well, it's starting to pick up now. Beep, 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 beep. Get it this way. Come on, show me what it is. Must be up here. Ooh, here it is. Cassette tape. Someone left a rope for me to climb up. I'm down near the lake. How do you know it's for you? There's a tracking collar tied to it. Someone was leading me here. And there's another tape. Oh my God, Henry. <laughs> cool. And it says Henry on it. So it's definitely for me. Give me that tape. Ah, oh, that's the guy. 
the one, the black guy we saw, he was shining a torch at us. We don't know that. You need to get back here. They say the helicopters are making rounds. Okay. Hike north to Farfair, look out for evacuation. We don't know that, man. I think... I think he, he didn't kill him. It sounds like it was an accident, right? What, what's your interpretation of it? Alright, well, improvised hatch. What? What is this? I'm going in. Cool. Screw the helicopters, let's investigate. Teen magazines, wizards and wyvern. Big nose. <laughs> How long have they been down here? Lookout supplies, camp stove. He wrote down everything he did to us. Everything he did every day. He was scared shitless. Wow, this is cool. Alright, I better keep hold of all these. They could be... They could stop me from getting put in prison or something. You never know. You should see some of the stuff he was working on. I guess he had a lot of time on his hands. I'm sorry. I don't know what to say. I don't know what you want me to say. We're in the middle of a fire that is at 22,000 acres and growing fast. It's going to burn all of this up. Well, take a picture if you're so keen to remember it. <laughs> Well, I definitely want to take a picture, but I don't know. This could be a sleeping bag from the teens. Why did they steal it? I guess because he needed stuff out here. Huh. This boombox looks familiar. From the girls. He was rigging up stolen batteries to keep his stuff going. Beer can! Mm, yeah, let's clean it up. Ooh, radio log. Can we grab all of these? Yeah, we better take all of them. I, I don't exactly know how this is going to end. I mean, I haven't seen anybody playing it, so I I, I guess I kind of need to make sure that we're not going to get incriminated somehow. Mm-hmm. Let's get some pictures before we leave. 
Oh, we've only got two left. All right, we'll save them just in case. Goodwin's view. So, uh, looks like I need to leave here. But where do I go? They say hike north, right? But how do I get there? Well, I guess go south first of all. Hold on a minute. That map, evac point. So we are there. So we want to hike out of here, then turn right, go all the way around Thunder Canyon, and then start making our way north. So... Yeah, head that way, then turn right. Okay, got it. Huh. I need some help interpreting all this, guys. I really want to know what you think of uh, what's been going on. I'm not quite sure what, what I think right right now. I've just got to get my head around it. So, Ned lost his son, either killed him or, or he just died in an accident. We found it. And then there's fire and stuff. And we're, now we're trying to escape. Ned's still out here, so he could die. But then maybe he doesn't want to live any longer because he's lost his son. Yeah, rather interesting. That's about all I can figure out right now while I try to find my way out of here. Maybe we'll find Ned on the way and we can convince him to come with us. Yeah, that would be a nice thing to do. Wouldn't it, Henry? Yes, it really would. Hmm, I don't know whether, it's, whether he was a good dad or not. I think, I think that Ned loved him. He still had his photo, you know? I want to hear it. He, he obviously didn't want to forget him. He just didn't know what to do. Henry, not knowing what to do isn't okay. When you're supposed to look after someone, you... You figure it out. Yes. And Ned Goodwin is a shithead who is incapable of figuring anything out. God, it would have been so easy to tell the truth and have him sent home. I can't stop thinking about it. You didn't do anything wrong. You said it yourself. It was Ned's job to look after him. Yes, I did. And now I've got to decide whether I tell people that he's down there so they can retrieve the body. Why wouldn't you? Come on. Don't cry. Oh, fuck. Is that a helicopter? Yeah, hold on. Whoa. Hey. What? No, there's one more. Yes, here, yeah. Yeah, he's coming. Don't leave without me. What the fudge? Uh, one second. Not one second. About one hour. I'm going to be ages. Wait for me. Wait, just wait, okay? I'm not that far. Henry, they're here. They're waiting right now. Yeah, but that doesn't mean you have to go without me. Henry, I don't thought we bonded. I don't want to meet you and just sit here in a dead boy's shadow. Okay, I, I don't want to do that. I know that sounds harsh. But Delilah, we've grown so close. <laughs> okay, I'll wait. Yeah. Good. Wait for me. Silly woman. Try and leave without me. Hey, wait a minute. We need to go back that way. And go up somehow. How do we get up? I don't think we can. Alright, we'll better continue this way. That Delilah's trying to leave without me. Can you believe that? After all we've been through together. I thought we were getting together. A man's got needs. I need to get with her. My wife is in no no fit state. There we go. Not far now. Go up around here. Why? Well, I don't have to go through the cave, do I? No, I don't think so. I think we can go up yonder. God damn, I've had enough of that cave. I don't want to be anywhere near that dead body. That's somebody else's job to come recover it. 
There we go. We should be heading the right way now. Yeah, kind of up here. Around to the right. If there's any path, which... Ah, yes, there kind of is. Good, 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 good. I'm coming, Delilah. Wait for Riney. Hey, I can hear someone walking. Who the hell's there? Yeah, that's it. Keep going. Up the path. Wow, how does this end? Oh, can you get different endings on this? Or is whatever I choose, you know, same as everyone else? Yeah, we're nearly there. Come on. Keep going. Music's changed. Uh, kind of lost. Um, game, help me. Am I going the right way? Yeah, still going the right way. Good, Reinstein. It's, this game has taught me one thing, and that's that I have no freaking clue how to navigate through 3D space in a game. That's uh, probably why I prefer 2D games. I'm absolutely clueless. Yeah, continue. Lila, I'm coming. I'm running through the wildfire. What if I get caught in the wildfire and die? Delilah, what is going to happen to me? Hang on, kind of stuck again. No, going the wrong way. Back that way and to the right. Okay. What do you think, everyone? Am I a noob? Or have you enjoyed this story? I think this is probably going to be the last episode, judging by what's happening now. But you can never be too sure. Alright, continue up there. Let's get to a higher point. When Bear Grylls is lost, he always says, Get to the highest point and you will find what you're looking for. Hey, there's a rock in the way. I can't get past Delilah, I'm stuck. Bad idea. Back this way. Hang on a minute. Where am I now? Got ran in circles here. Taking a wrong turning somewhere. Aha! Clear the block trail with my trusty axe, which they gave a weird name. I say, chop it all down, mate. You don't want to get cuts and bruises just before you leave him. Where's that helicopter? Helicopter, I'm coming now. Don't you leave without me. I'm so close to the evac point. Run, Reinstein, run like the wind, sir. My God, there's a big long drop. I may twist his ankle. Ah, ugh. And then he can't run anymore, and he's like, Delilah, I can't make it. Dun, 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 dun. I'm nearly there. Should be up here on the right. Well now, which path do we take? Right or left? I'm gonna go right anyway. Higher points or better points? Hey, cable car, cool. I'm coming in. Hey, I'm at the evac spot near the ravine. Delilah, are you there? Delilah Damn it, Delilah, you've left without me, haven't you? You said you was not gonna. Damn you, woman! I'm coming for you! We've bonded so much, I need a new wife. My wife is useless. She's got dementia, and I need some loving. Hey, where do I go now? Where am I now? Ah, evac point. Okay. Well, I'm going the wrong way. <laughs> Typical Riney. Uh, evac point? Where am you? Where am I? So I am... What? Hello? How do I get out of here? Aha! Up here, dur. You're such a dur, Riney. Is this where Delilah's place was? Wow. You don't exactly have a good staircase, do you? Delilah! 
Delilah! You did leave without me, I knew it! Damn you, woman. What? That's a dude, that's not Delilah. Desk radio. Radio headset, let's put it on. Hello, Henry to Delilah. Hello, is anybody there? Anybody? Hi. Yeah, it's me. You're not here. <laughs> I am mad. I am. Well, I couldn't be out there another minute. Not another minute. Come on. Henry, how did you feel when you left Boulder to come out here? Uh. Like I couldn't get here fast. Yeah, enough. to meet you, Delilah. Exactly. That's how I felt for the past twenty-four hours. Well, I'm still mad. But you understand. No. Not really. It was just a few minutes. It's not all right, Henry. Don't let her off so lightly. Alright, I'm prepared for it. How about you spend it with me, sugar? No. And you'll have to... I don't know. Yeah, me neither. I don't know what's next. Tell you what, why don't you choose for me, and I'll choose for you. Ooh, I like that. Alright, sure. Um, maybe... Um, come to Boulder with me. Yeah! Sorry. Oh god. You don't want me to Yeah, dude. You might be hot. Well, I just asked you. Look, I've got some things to do in Casper, and maybe I'll head south sometime after that. I could come by, sure. Okay. Wow. Non committal, huh? About me. I think you should go to Julia. And then you can figure it out. Maybe put that typewriter to good use. Give me a sexy accent or something if you write about it. <laughs> Henry wants you, Delilah. Go I will go see her, but that doesn't mean I shouldn't be with you. Yeah, sure. Henry, I... <sighs> Look, you came out to put your memories behind you, and they're still right there in front of you. I've, uh, I gotta move on. I don't expect you to know what that's like, but I have to find some way to move on. Something to do. If you can't, then that's why God invented booze. I guess. <laughs> Henry, I'm kidding. I gotta move on somehow. I hope you do. There's the helicopter, they'll land you back where you hiked up. Good luck, Henry. Hmm. I'll see you when I see you. <laughs> she called me Hank again. Aww, oh, she don't want to be with me. Well, see you later, I guess. Time to get to the helicopter. We're coming, Mr. Helicopter. It's time for us to go back, see our wife, and figure things out from there, I suppose. Where are you, helicopter? Hi. There he is! Oh, man. What an emotional roller coaster. I wonder if they've recovered the dead body yet of the boy. There's quite a lot of uh, aspects to the story, really, to piece together, but it's been fun. What's up, dude? Thank you. I'm coming in. As you grab my strong hand. Oh, hold me up. I'll take you out. My God. You don't want to be out there, man. We need some sort of God-fearing tsunami to send in against that fire. Whew. Hey, you don't have the Delighter's number, do you? <laughs> I'm gonna go and uh, check her out. Do a little bit of spying on my own. Well, that looks like the end of the game. Producing cooperation with Panic Inc. Hmm. 
I would love to hear some feedback on how you feel my presentation of the game was, what you, what your interpretation of the story was, how you think the story was, was it any good? I, myself, I enjoyed it. Um, like I said, I'm not particularly good at moving through 3D space without getting lost, but I got there. Uh, yeah, so I take away from it, I shouldn't move in 3D space. I should exist in the 2D world. <laughs> but that's the end of the game anyway. Um, like I say, I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you all choose to follow what other new series I come up with. I've got some good series out already like XCOM 2 and uh, RimWorld. And if you want me to continue being a YouTuber, then please consider supporting me on Patreon from as little as $1 a month on patreon.com forward slash Redneck Einstein. We've already got uh, $40, $50 in funding, which is really, really appreciated. And I wish you all a good day. Thanks, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.